AI never takes a break, right? And apparently, neither do the people making this stuff. Just when I think, okay, that's it, AI video can't get crazier. Boom, another tool drops. This one's called VO3 Real Time. And honestly, it's kinda nuts. No waiting forever for renders, no spending hours trying to write the perfect prompt, it just does it. Super fast, super realistic. For most people, the biggest hurdle to using AI video generators isn't the technology itself. It's the prompt. You have a simple idea in your head, like a cat playing a guitar, but turning that into a prompt that produces a masterpiece is a real art form. You have to think about camera angles, lighting, style, composition, and a dozen other details. Well, VO3 is designed to be your creative partner. It has a powerful built-in AI enhancer that does the hard work for you. Let's walk through how it works. The interface is incredibly clean and simple. You have a main text box labeled Create Your Vision. This is where you start. You don't need to be an expert. Just write down your idea in simple, everyday words. For our example, let's type a girl pole dancing in the rain. Now, here's the magic. Instead of hitting generate right away, you click the enhance with AI button. In seconds, VO3 takes that simple phrase and expands it into a rich, detailed cinematic prompt. It adds specifics like joyful expressions and raindrops creating shimmering effects. It describes the camera work, including tracking shots, zoom ins, and a slow motion dance sequence. It even specifies the lighting, mentioning soft lighting and blending natural elements with artistic flair. It's taken our basic idea and turned it into a director's vision. With our enhanced prompt ready, we click Generate Video. This is where the real-time part of the name comes into play. On the right side of the screen, you see a preview window. Instead of a progress bar, you see the video being generated, frame by frame, right before your eyes. You can watch your vision come to life instantly allowing you to see if the AI is on the right track without waiting for a full render. In this case, it took just over four seconds to create this beautiful, high-quality clip. And because this version of the tool is completely uncensored, you have the freedom to create whatever you can imagine without restrictive filters getting in your way. But what if you want more control? Down in the advanced settings, you can customize the output. You can adjust the playback FPS or frames per second to control the duration and smoothness of the video. A higher FPS will create a shorter, smoother video, while a lower FPS will result in a longer, choppier one. You can also change the seed number. The seed is like a starting number for the AI's random generation process. Using the same prompt with the same seed will always produce the same result. But if you change the seed number, you can generate endless unique variations of the same idea, giving you a powerful way to explore different creative outcomes. Now, you're probably thinking that a tool this powerful must require a high-end, expensive computer, while you can install it locally if you have at least 40 gigabyte of VRAM. The great news is that you can also run it easily on a cloud platform called Modal. This is a game changer because it means you don't need any heavy hardware at all. Modal is a platform similar to Google Colab or Kaggle, but it gives you access to incredibly powerful GPUs with up to 120 gigabytes of VRAM and provides free credits every month. All you need is a web browser, and I've already talked about the modal in my previous videos, so make sure to check them out for more details. I've included the GitHub link in the description. From there, you can find the VO3 real-time notebook for modal. After creating a free modal account, you just go to your dashboard, click on the notebook section, and import the file you downloaded. From there, you'll need to configure your virtual machine. For this tool, you'll want at least two CPU cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and a powerful GPU like an NVIDIA H100 with 80 gigabytes of VRAM. Set the idle time to one hour, Start the kernel and you're ready to go. The notebook has all the installation steps laid out. Just run the clone cell, then the requirements cell. Before you run the main code, you'll need to make a few small edits to the requirements and app files to ensure everything runs smoothly. Specifically, you'll need to adjust the NumPy version in the requirements file to match mine if you're using a different one. It's not a big deal though. 
if you get any errors later, you can just install it separately in a new cell. Also, make sure to set share true in the main app file. Since we're running this on the cloud, the local port won't work, so we need to share the port to launch the Gradio interface. To get this done, we'll need to download two files from the repo. You can see them in the directory. The model doesn't let us edit files directly, so we'll grab the requirements and app files first. Okay, so here I've downloaded both files, the requirements file and the app Python file. Let's first edit the requirements file. As you can see, I've already updated the NumPy version to match mine, so make sure your version matches as well. Then let's edit the Python file. You can use any editor, but I'm using VS Code here. You'll need to scroll to the end of the code, and on line 783, you'll see the share argument, which is currently set as optional for Gradio sharing. We need to hard code this because we're using a cloud platform, and we can't use the local Gradio port. We need a shareable URL for our space. So, let's hard code it to true with a capital T. Just remove the argument and replace it with true. That's it. This is the only thing you need to do. Now, when you run the app, it'll generate a URL for you that you can access from any browser. After that, just remove the old files from the repo, upload your updated ones to Modal, then just run the requirements cell to download all the dependencies listed in the requirements file. Before you run the last cell, make sure to run the ffmpeg one. It's super important. We need that library for the setup and it'll download all the required files. Once that's done, just run the final cell to launch the VO3 interface and get your public link to start creating. Okay guys, the last cell takes a while. It's loading all that power. After it's done, you can start generating some totally educational content. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay guys, real talk, the video quality, A, not Hollywood level, but not trash either. It runs Quen for prompt boosting and Wan for video generation, top tier open source stuff, but instead of the Wan base model, it actually uses a distilled version, which is based on this self-forcing method. And if you remember, I've covered this in our AI news roundup. Since it's real time, the quality jumps around a bit. But hey, it's free and totally uncensored. And yeah, it's uncensored, so let's just say I can't show you everything it can do. This tool truly represents the next step in accessible AI video generation. It's powerful, fast, and you don't need to be an expert to get incredible results. All right, guys, the link to the modal notebook repo is in the description. Go ahead and download the notebook, then import it into your modal account. I hope you like this video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more on the latest AI tools and tutorials. If you have any questions or make something amazing, let me know in the comments. Take care. That's the end of today's show. Thank you all for your support and watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave comments. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. See you in the next episode, and as always, I will be on the lookout for the newest and coolest AI tools to share with you, so if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. 